and welcome Pisces to your weekly taroscope. I'm Katie. If you have any personal questions that you would like answered, please visit my website katietarot.com. You can book your reading with me there. All right, Pisces, let's get into it and see what energies need to come through for you this week. This is for Sun, Moon and Rising Sign Pisces. And it is for the 25th through to the 31st of December 2017. And it is a general reading, so please take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. Okay, Pisces. We have judgment, and this is your energy. This is your feelings, your mindset, your energy and things that are around you this week in terms of the, uh, the energy and things that are going on within yourself. So judgment is about choices and it's about recognizing that things are going to get better. And I do see that from your past, you may have been through some troubling times or difficulties or challenges lately. And um, if they have been weighing on your mind recently, then uh, no... Pisces, that that energy is going to be lifted up and off you. And it's come from your own choices. Okay. I also do feel that there is a divine element coming in here from the universe and that you will have a strength of character and it's like a remodeling of who you are in a way um, that's coming through. And that's just that energy is just starting to come through. So you may be starting to feel that energy now, that change, that transformation, that shift that's happening for you. Now let's have a look at the energy of the week. We have the sun, beautiful energy. You're going to have a really good time this week, um, just generally in the different aspects of your life, Pisces. There's a feeling here of uh, wanting to get some things done, but also of relaxing and enjoying your time with the people around you. Um, if you find yourself alone, um, I do feel that this is not a negative thing for you. You might actually um, have organized it to be this way, to take some time off. Um, there is a feeling here of um, also some of you will want to take center stage, want to be uh, the life of the party. So really enjoying yourself as well. That is really coming in very strongly. Um, and I feel that it's kind of a, with the energy of yourself in the week, these two things coming together. So over the last few weeks or months, you may not have had the opportunity to enjoy yourself. Let your hair down, relax, um, do these different things that you are going to be doing this week. And it's a good, it's a good thing for you. There's pressure that's off you and it's, it's come down to a choice. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there, this choice is going to be, it has been made. Or um, you're making it this week. Or you're going to uh, recognize that things need to change because you have such a good week ahead of you that, you know, you might meet someone new. You might have a wonderful connection with someone. You might find yourself in a situation um, that is really pleasing to you and it gives you that burst of energy that you need uh, going forward to change things. Okay. The challenges this week, we have the tower. Okay, Pisces, so uh, the tower being a challenge means that, and I do feel this has come from uh, your past as well. We do have three major arcana here for you this week. So the tower means that things have been built up to a point that they can no longer sustain themselves. This could be within yourself on a personal level, uh, within your own psyche and intuition, or... It could be circumstantially. Things may be going on around you and you just haven't been able to perceive the changes that have been taking place. And then they get to a certain point and then um, it becomes obvious what's been going on. It becomes obvious. Uh, something becomes obvious to you because things start to move and there is an unstable energy here. So something is going to happen this week or you have been going through this process for a little while, Pisces. And um, it's a continuation of that energy, of that kind of energy block in a way of um, realizing that it's really time to change. And often with the tower, it's not so much 
that it's a negative thing it's you know and some of you may know what is coming and what change needs to happen um, so you kind of look forward to it in a way because you know that after this event or after this conversation or after this comes to fruition or after this happens after you make the choice even you know it's going to start to change in your life in a big way now, how are you going to respond this week? We've got the Eight of Swords. So there is going to be a tendency here, Pisces, for you to restrict. And when this event happens or when this circumstance comes to light, you're going to uh, think negative. There's a feeling of feeling uh, being restricted and feeling like you can't move, feeling like it's kind of a, a shock even. Okay, this uh, realization or this choice that you may make this week even though this is going to be a good week in terms of things, um, even though you might feel that this is a good thing, there is an element here of uh, being afraid and, and unsure of the future. And that's perfectly normal, you know, going forward. When changes happen and they are big changes, like the tower indicates, um, it means that, you know, naturally we have a reaction of that fear so let's have a look at the advice from the universe to get you through this we have the nine of swords and this speaks to you the universe wants you to not stress and not worry about this thing okay you might be worried that you um throughout the year you have not achieved what you wanted okay so you might have that dawning realization you're like wow i didn't receive that or i didn't get that and rather than focusing on the negative rather than focusing on that vibrational level the universe is asking you to pick yourself up vibrationally, think about more positive things, think about this change that's happening, okay, that's happening to you. Because it is a good thing in the long run. So the universe is asking you to pick yourself up and move yourself forward. Don't trap yourself in with your ideas and your thoughts about things because they may not be correct, okay. They may not be, they're not definitely not going to serve you, Um the best way so this is a very interesting energy Pisces um, because on one hand I can see the tendency of uh, restricting in and feeling like you're kind of caged and like oh why did this have to happen or um, even though I knew this was going to happen it could be a blow up at a family event you know uh, you kind of had a choice to make whether to go or not you decided you were going to go and then you know there was an argument or something like that and then you feel like, oh, damn, you know, I really shouldn't have gone. You know, rather than putting the blame on yourself or on others, lift the vibration higher. And you may even affect other people around you in a positive way. That's what the universe is really saying here. Now, let's have a look at how you will feel uh, looking back on the week. Um, so at the end of the week, um, let's see what your, your energy is saying. So we have the page of wands. And this is a really beautiful energy because it means a new start. It means a revitalization. It means a new beginning, the possibility, the mindset going forward of the possibility of things changing and of things being better than they were in the past. And that's what I was feeling for you guys earlier on here. I feel that this could even be a life purpose thing for you. Um, and you are trying to organize something here, but then, you know, you might want to feel like you want to get bogged down in the details or the uh, the thinking in that kind of um, boxed in way. The universe is saying, nah, -uh, don't do that. Because by the end of the week, you would have realized, okay, I do have this new opportunity to learn, to grow, to prosper um, in whatever area of life this is for you. So this is a very, you're looking back at the end of the week going, yeah, okay, some things happened this week, but that's okay. I got through them and I know this is opening the way forward for me. Um, because just big decisions were made or they're going to be made moving forward over the next few weeks um, to create a better life for myself. So this is very positive and um, I, I do feel that the universe wants you to take that away from this reading Pisces, you know, that you are on a journey and that you are going to be enlightened and you're going to see um, things start to really change. In an intense way. For some of you, this will be an intense thing and change in a drastic way or an intense way. Um, relationships are going to change or events and circumstances are going to change in a big way for you. 
Now, it might not be exactly, you know, this week, but this energy has been around you for a little while. And it's going to continue to be around you um, going forward for the next little while. So I can see you're working through this. And um, with the Page of Wands here, the, the end of week energy is really kind of contemplating on it and going, yeah, you know what? I'm in the driving seat. I know what I need to do to move forward. Um, and if things are outside of your control, then that's okay. If you perceive that to be the case, then you're opening yourself up to the possibility of um, what's coming in a positive way, you know. So I really do feel that that excitement and enthusiasm is definitely going to come back by the end of the week. That is shown up here with the sun card. Um, and overarching, you know, the week, the energy of the week is the sun. So this is a really positive, beautiful energy driving forward you forward uh, through the week. So there will be good times. There will be uh, wonderful connections and communications that happen throughout the week for you. So that's the reading for the week, Pisces. Sending you much love. Bye for now.